In the previous video in this section, we set up the drawing demo7a.dwg. So I'm hoping you've saved that and you've kept it open and you're still in your WD demo project as well. So in the demo7a.dwg file, we set up our little 10 rung ladder. And you can see that in the top left corner of the screen there. So I'm going to zoom in now towards the top rung, like so. And you can see there 800 and 801 and 802. And what we're going to look at now is just inserting some wires, some very simple ones, into the drawing itself. So the whole idea of this ladder is it gives us the rungs to actually link all of our components and our wires together. So I'm going to go to the schematic tab on the ribbon and into the insert wires wire numbers panel here. And if I click on the fly out here, you can see that I've got all different types of wires that I can insert. I'm just going to use the regular wire command here. So I click there like so. Now, as soon as I do that, read the command line. Now, you'll notice it gets very jerky. Now, the reason it gets jerky is that it switches snap and grid on. So can you see, because I've got snap and grid on, it snaps really nicely to the rungs on the ladder. And this is kind of how AutoCAD Electrical works. When you're setting up a schematic drawing, you want it to be set out to a grid. It just makes life so much easier. Now you'll notice as well, in the command line there, I've got wire type or show connections. Now the good thing is, I can go down to wire type in the command line in the newer versions of AutoCAD, especially 2017, click there, and I can pick a wire type. Now if I come in here, you can see that all I've got is the one wire type. Layer name wires, wire numbering yes, and it's currently being used with the X in the box. So I'm just going to cancel that. I don't need to worry too much. That's because it's a basic AutoCAD electrical drawing. I haven't gone in and set up any wire types yet. So I'm just going to use the default, which is a bit like using layer zero in regular AutoCAD. Now the wire start, I'm going to pick a point here. And can you see I get the nearest snap coming up? And I can snap along the grid on the rung of the ladder. So I'm going to go for the center point there and just come down. And as I come down, can you see it highlights the next rung? I click again and it inserts a wire. Now I've finished drawing wires now. So what I can do is I can just hit escape a couple of times just to cancel that command. You will find that you use escape quite a lot more in AutoCAD Electrical than you would in regular AutoCAD just to cancel the command once you've placed a wire. Now you can see it's added the little T-junction connectors there and there, and we've now got an extra wire sitting there quite nicely in between rungs on our ladder in our AutoCAD electrical drawing. And that's how quick and easy it is to add a wire to one of your AutoCAD electrical drawings.